Hey guys, welcome to the How to Fly video. In this video, I'm going to take you through the basic step-by-steps so that you can get the most out of your drone. We're going to be using Bird Advance, which supports GoPro, gimbal, and camera. Now, always remember to follow your local flight regulations. Stay away from government buildings, crowded areas, and airports, as all these things can cause interference with your copter. In any case, we've already pre-installed no-flight zones in your Bird software for your own safety and convenience. So that's it, let's go. So let's start off by finding a wide open space for your first flight. To begin, we're going to unpack Bird, the controller, the gimbal, and the rest of the accessories. To do this, we're going to unfold the landing gear. The arms and the propellers, and then check that they are securely in place. To insert the battery, take off the top compartment, place the battery carefully inside, and make sure that you push it down until you hear all of the clicks around the edges. This will ensure that your battery is safely locked in place. And then that's it, just pop the top back on. Now let's focus on the GoPro camera and gimbal. Remove the protective cover. Next, we need to install the camera into the gimbal, so please take out the screws carefully. Remove the support gear and place GoPro in the right position. Now take the screws and screw them back in and fix it. Now insert the joint. Following this, we will insert our gimbal but gently pressing in the clip. Then we can go ahead and clip the holder into the controller. And adjust the length according to the size of your device. The next step is to power bird up. Just pressing the power button for a few seconds Please remember to start off by firstly powering up the controller and then the aircraft. To start your flight, make sure your device is connected to Bird's Wi-Fi correctly. It's easy to find Bird's Wi-Fi account on the back of the controller. The original password is 12345678. Then open up our flight application. Now attention please. You should always calibrate the compass when flying in a new location. Tap Pro Flight app and find Calibrate in the flight settings. Next is to do everything following the tips. Alternatively, if you do not have your mobile device, you can toggle the flight mode switch several times. Notice the front status indicators hold a solid yellow and rear ones flash a quick yellow. Now turn the aircraft over. Hold and rotate it horizontally 360 degrees in a clockwise direction. The rear status indicators should flash a quick green. Then proceed to hold the aircraft vertically with the noise pointing downwards and rotate again 360 degrees in a clockwise direction. The rear status indicators will turn a solid green. When front status indicators are solid yellow and rear ones are solid green, the calibration work is completed. Otherwise, please move to a new location and restart the calibrating process. Before taking off, always perform a pre-flight check to ensure the bird will respond as expected. Check your battery for both bird and the controller and make sure that they are full. Always ensure that you're behind bird when flying because it's easy to mix up bird's direction, so we always recommend to stay behind bird while flying and keep it within line of sight. When flying bird, we strongly recommend flying in GPS mode with at least 7 bars of GPS signal. The more the better. Please make sure GoPro camera is working before flight. When taking off, hold down your control sticks to start the rotor blades and then push up the left control sticks. While in the air, Bird will maintain its altitude and position while in GPS mode. You can hold the left stick to go up, down, and rotate left to right.
you can hold the right stick to move bird forward, backwards, and sideways. Moving the gear wheels on the left and right of the controller to adjust your camera orientation. Simply press the return home button or land manually when you're finished. But remember guys, Bird creates serious updrafts when close to the ground, so don't delay your landing or you could risk flipping your copter. Please don't forget to turn off the camera when the shooting is over. Alright guys, that was it for our video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Now remember to go to our website for more information and stay tuned through our social media web channels because we have a lot more coming from where that came from. Bye!